ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਓਕੇ ਆ ਬੀਨ ਆਸਕਡ ਬਾਈ ਸੰਗਤ ਫਰਮ ਬੇਸ ਪਾਰਟਸ ਆਫ ਦ ਵਰਲਡ ਇਫ ਆ ਕੈਨ ਐਕਸਪਲੇਨ ਅ ਕਪਲ ਆਫ ਥਿੰਗਸ ਐਂਡ ਇਫ ਆ ਹੈਡ YouTube ਵੀਡੀਓਜ਼ ਵਿਚ ਆਈ ਡੋਨਟ ਡੂ ਆਵ ਨੇਵਰ ਅਟੈਂਪਟਡ ਟੂ ਡੂ ਥੈਟ ਐਂਡ ਥਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਮਾਈ ਫਰਸਟ ਟਾਈਮ ਦੈਟ ਆਮ ਮੇਕਿੰਗ ਅ ਵੀਡੀਓ ਸੋ ਜਸਟ ਬੇਅਰ ਵਿਦ ਮੀ ਆ ਕਾਨ ਕਲੇਮ ਟੂ ਬੀ ਸਮਵਨ ਹੂ ਨੋਜ਼ ਐਵਰੀਥਿੰਗ ਓ may be understands everything in this world but this is just a humble attempt to try and explain what i understand about the cycle of life so if you look at this i've called it the cycle of life and the story starts like this so the son you know asks the father like you know i want to be my own person i want to experience myself as i am and let's assume that the father is this son okay so this big light this humongous you know light of lights and the little candle which is the sun wants to experience itself so it asks the father like you know um, how can i experience myself when i'm already within you all the time i'm inside you i know i'm a little light but i don't know what i really am because all i can see is just your brilliant light so how will i know that i am a little light when i'm existing within your brilliance so the little light asks for this opportunity to be able to experience itself so i've drawn the sun here representing everything and the little candle here which is an individuation of this everything so this is just one part of the whole thing okay so in a similar way all of us souls are like this candle and we all come from one being one unified being so over here you can see it said unified non physical now we can't be able to see god uh but we know that god exists somewhere or even if you want to call god an energy or some being out there or anything that you know you feel you're comfortable with fine it's a unified non physical so basically it's just one what exists on this side is just one is just one big being god which we cannot touch or feel so when the candle asks for it to be able to experience itself it has to move away from the sun that's the only way the candle will know itself so once that request is made then the cycle of life begins so in the beginning we just this and this is the only thing that existed a unified non physical thing and then you can also see up here i've said knowing and the realm of the absolute so just to explain this in the realm of the absolute there's only oneness there's no duality or there's no you know three things existing existing at the same time there's only oneness everything is just one it's absolute there's nothing else to compare from or to um uh, if it's love it's just absolute love if it's light it's just absolute light there's no darkness or anything else which we can compare with on this side so i've also said knowing here now imagine you know everything about yourself which is the sun the sun knows everything about itself the sun being god in this aspect here knows everything about himself he knows he's god he knows he's good he knows he can do whatever he wants to do he knows he's got all these magnificent qualities but in order for these magnificent qualities to be made valid they also have to be experienced it's not just good knowing it's like you sitting at home thinking oh i'm a generous person i'm a good person but you wouldn't become that unless you go out there into this world and do something generous or be kind to other people so in a similar way the candle requests the sun that it wants to experience itself so the journey and the cycle of life begins so from a unified non physical once the request is made to be able to experience itself it moves away from the sun and becomes an individual non physical so it is still non physical uh, but it's an individuation of the sun now this is the process of life now you can see here i've drawn another line which is called the veil of separation now basically there's a reason why there's a veil of separation because on this side everything is absolute on this side everything is relative on this side there's only oneness on this side there's duality on this side is what 
you know, we, we say, oh, you know, everyone is with God or one with God. So at this point, we are one with everything. And once we move to this side, we become separated from the top side. So we sort of become separate from, separated from God. Although in reality, we're actually not separated from God because there's no way we can separate ourselves from God. That is why I've called it the veil of separation because it appears it's an illusion that makes us think that we are separated from God and that veil serves a purpose. So once the candle decide is going to move away from the sun, it has to look for a way and what is the method for it to uh, be able to get into this physical experience? Uh, it takes birth. So the reason why I haven't called it an individual is because you've got animals as well. You've got plants, you've got all sorts of beings that take uh, life. And at this point here, when they cross over, you can see I've written birth. So this is the point at which, you know, uh, this individual non-physical being goes through the process of birth uh, and then crosses over from one where they're unified with God, where they're praising God even when in the womb, and then crossing over to the other side where you become an individual physical being. So you are now not a baby, um, just an idea probably in your parents' mind, and then obviously they come together and they give your mom gives birth to you so you become an individual physical being so now you're born uh, and when you're born your body from oneness because this was all one you disintegrate into three parts and these three parts are the mind the body and the soul so you appear to be sort of three bits in one your mind we all know the mind with what we used to think the body that we are given and the soul which is the real us. So this candle can also be called the soul and we can refer to this as the big soul um, just for this purpose. So when you're born you become an individual physical being and you go through the process of life which is what I've written here. Uh, now whatever you knew on this side uh, let's say you knew that you're a generous being because you're part of God and God is a generous being you knew that you're generous so when you came to this side where you're experiencing generosity now you really know what it feels like to be generous it's not just a thing that you know but you're actually experiencing it so this is why it's called the realm of the relative because over here things are dual you've got duality you've got high you've got low you've got fast you've got slow you've got poor you've got rich you've got good you've got bad but what we have to remember is that all these things are actually happening within this framework. And within this whole framework, this sun exists in all of this. The only reason why we are not thinking at any point that we are one is because of this veil of separation. Now this veil of separation is actually created in our mind. So our mind is the one that is creating this veil of separation. Now it serves a purpose because that is the only way we'll become a candle. That's the only way we will know that we are separated from God. But actually, physically, we cannot be separated from God. But we can think that we are separate. And that's the tool that God uses to make us feel that we are separate from Him. So you go through the process of life. You experience all these things that you knew about yourself. And then what happens when you die? When you die, the soil becomes soil. So you become from these three aspects, you become one aspect you just become soil remember they say soil mixes with soil and that's exactly what happens so you become a unified physical being you know some people get buried some people get cremated and at this juncture this is what we call death so this is what you know death is happening at this point here now <clears throat> you can see i've said here that at death the body reintegrates into one part so your mind your body and your soul uh, on, at the point of dying this all become one so in the first process of death is you sort of lose your mind you start thinking like hang on am I is this really me and then you lose your body you realize that you can actually be separated from your body and then you realize you're just a soul and it's the soul that actually goes crosses over to this part and then merges with the Sun and becomes one again so this process, this cycle carries on and on and on uh, in the cycle of life. 
Um, now, just to explain uh, uh, a little bit about karma, which we will discuss later on. So if you can imagine that if there were different levels of knowing, so let's say, for example, um, this is level one, level two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and so on and so forth. So all the way till infinity. And similarly, you've got all these levels of life on this side, um, experiencing things all the way till infinity. Um, so basically, there's some of us who only want to experience the little that we know. So for them, their cycle will sort of just be like that. Crossover, take birth, experience these things, crossover, die, go back, merge with you know, the oneness, and then carry on in that circle. But the moment we realize that, hang on, when we are on this side, we realize we can be actually more than what we are. And once you realize that this sun is actually the greatest thing that you can ever experience and there's no end to it, then you want to jump to sort of another level and then your cycle becomes something like that. So now you know a little bit more about yourself. You know, you choose to separate yourself from the oneness, you take birth, you come into this cycle, you experience more things, the process of life, you die, you go back, and then you decide, oh, hang on, I think I want to experience more things because I've known more about myself from that experience. So you go to the next level. And so you can see this cycle keeps on, this is the cycle of life, and you can go through this process many times. Ultimately, you're always going to merge with Vahiguru. So this process goes on again. Now you know more things about yourself. Now you're going to experience more things about yourself come back here, you die, and then you merge with Vaidru once again, and then you ask to experience yourself again because you've known more things about yourself, and then that process carries on and on and on and on like that, okay? So <clears throat> you can see now that there's no difference between birth and death, they're exactly the same thing, you're just changing from one physical non-physical aspect to a physical aspect and then on this side you're changing from a physical aspect into a non-physical aspect and that is a cycle of life uh, if you have any questions don't hesitate to ask and i'll be gladly willing to answer them thank you